how to fly backwards. This will make you feel awesome when you get the hang of this. It's kind of like an intermediate step between normal scale flying and inverted flying. So watch until the end to get all the info you need. The first step before you start is to make sure you're half decent at normal forward turns so you have a good understanding of how to use all the controls together. If you can do decent coordinated forward turns it's just a case of reversing some of the control inputs. If you think you need a bit of work go and watch my video on turning, get some practice then come back here. So when it comes to backwards flying two of the controls are used in the opposite way to forward flying aileron and elevator. We're doing fairly flat turns first to get our coordination and reduce the chance of crashing before we're used to it. So we're going to go to the left and turn to the right first into a figure of eight. So we have a left turn on the other side of the figure of eight. Don't fly too far away from yourself or you won't be able to see the helicopter's attitude clearly. Also don't make the turns too tight because you have less time to think about the movements. So to enter the turn, you simultaneously apply and hold rudder in the same direction as the turn and apply and recenter the aileron in the opposite direction to the turn. With the flat turns, you'll just need tiny little taps on the aileron. You shouldn't need too much elevator adjustment with flat turns, but keep an eye on your momentum and try to keep a constant speed. If you overbank, you'll need to push forwards on the side click to keep the tail up. Remember, this is the opposite of forwards, where we'd pull back to keep the nose up. When you're pointing in the direction you want to go, just release the rudder and stop making aileron adjustments into the turn. Make small adjustments to keep it going exactly where you want it to go. If you ever get confused about which way to apply the rudder, just remember the far side of the helicopter goes in the same direction as the rudder. So flying backwards towards yourself, the left rudder moves the nose to the left and the aileron is applied in the opposite direction to the rudder. Now turning left is the same thing but the other direction. Apply and hold left rudder and start giving small taps right with the aileron. Again adjust elevator and collective as required to maintain a fairly constant height and speed. Practice these flat turns for a bit until you're not accidentally applying control inputs in the wrong direction. Now the fun stuff, steeper banked backwards turns. Going left into a right turn first, again simultaneously applying and holding rudder and applying and releasing aileron. Now we're doing steeper turns you'll definitely need to apply and hold forward elevator. The steeper the turn, the more elevator you'll need to hold forwards. During the turn make tiny corrections to maintain a bank angle of about 30 to 45 degrees. Adjust the rudder to keep it looking coordinated and apply enough forward elevator to keep it level. Adjust the collective too if needed but concentrate on the elevator. You should only need to make collective adjustments when it's level as in the tail is the same level as the nose so the heli isn't pointing up or down. As you come to exit the turn reverse all the inputs you made to enter the turn. You'll need to start doing this a bit before you get to the direction you want to go so anticipate it. So slowly release the rudder and roll off the bank until your wings level and of course release the forward pressure on the elevator. Now turning left, left rudder, right aileron on centre, forwards elevator. Maintain this with small corrections then reverse all that to exit the turn again. It will take some practice to get the exit nice and smooth as well as the entry but practice makes perfect and it will be worth it when you get it. Lots more lessons to come as well as other things so hit subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified of those. <laughs>